Hello everybody, in this episode I'm going to show you how to create this oh, trippy displacement effect. So let's dive into it. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. This is the footage we're going to work with. As you can see the model is pretty steady in the frame, she doesn't do a lot of movements. What I want to achieve is two things. Number one, the exposure of the background a little bit darker so I can draw the viewer attention to the model's face. And then I want to add that displacement effect in, uh, in her face. I'm going to duplicate the video and then I'm selecting the first one, Command Shift E, so that's gonna be disabled and then replace composition, replace with After Effect composition. This is gonna this is gonna take the video right into After Effect. And the first thing I'm gonna be asked is, uh, how do you wanna name the After Effect project? I'm gonna call this Turbulence Display because that's the effect we're gonna use for the, you know, electrified uh, face effect. And this is the video in After Effect. It's exactly the same video we saw in uh, Premiere Pro. There is nothing really different there, right? So how do we tackle this? First thing, we need to track the face. Now I'm looking at the video and I think I want to track her noise. I want to put a tracking point in uh, uh, on the model's nose. And then I can use that data to track all the masks I need to track. Right, so let's go at the beginning of the timeline, create a new null object, and I'm gonna call it uh, tracker face. Then I select the movie, track motion, and uh, I'm gonna zoom all the way in and I'm gonna fine tune the tracker point and stick it to the model nose. Let's see, let's, yeah, I'm gonna use this highlight. It should be easy for After Effect to track. Something like that, that's fine. Now, make sure to have position selected. Rotation and scale are not selected. This will make the tracking calculation much easier and faster. And also the model doesn't really rotate or there is no scaling uh, happening in the frame. So I don't need those um, extra steps. When I'm happy with the positioning of the tracking point, I'm zooming in a little bit and I'm gonna hit, and I'm gonna hit the tracking button. Now we have all this tracking data. I'm gonna select the tracker face layer edit tracker, make sure that the tracker face is selected and then hit apply. And there you have it. I'm gonna disable, I'm gonna hide the tracker face layer, right click and I'm going to create an adjustment layer. I'm going to call this adjustment layer exposure background. So this is the adjustment layer I will use to decrease the exposure for the background with the exception of the face. So effects and preset, I'm gonna grab the lumetri color and uh, drop it on the adjustment layer. I'm gonna go to the beginning of the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna get an oval shape and I'm gonna position it roughly around the face of the model. Again, it doesn't have to be super precise. Now, basic control, tone, exposure, and I'm gonna bump up the exposure so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna zoom all the way in, and now I'm gonna play with the feathering and the mask expansion. Now, I think the feathering could be something around there, and the mask expansion negative. Then I'm happy with it. Yeah, I'm gonna fit to screen, exposure back to zero. And now I'm going to lower down the exposure for the background. But because I have a mask on the face, I need to invert the mask. So I'm gonna select subtract, and then I'm gonna play with the values of exposure. I think this is where I want it. So I'm happy with that. Peak whip and uh, tracker. Uh, let me go back to add, so you can see the effect applied only to the face and increase the exposure all the way and you can see that you know the effect now it's roughly there there is some there is some edge that needs to be clean and uh, you know it can be done but for the sake of this tutorial this is fine I'm happy with that so back to subtract and uh, back to what was the exposure value something like that I think yeah looks fine with me 
I don't want to overdo it because I want the effect to look uh, realistic. Now, I'm gonna duplicate this adjustment layer and this is going to create an adjustment layer which is exactly the same with the same effects and the same mask and uh, tracking data from the tracker layer. I'm gonna call it face because I want to increase the exposure uh, of the face just a little bit. And so I'm gonna bump the exposure up. I'm gonna switch to add. So the effect now is applied to the face inside the mask. And I think that is fine. And this is the before and this is the after. Yeah, it's slightly overexposed, but I'm happy with that. Well, I'm gonna fetch, well, the start of this tutorial, the turbulent displace effect. Gonna drop it on the face layer. And in the effect control panel, I'm gonna go down there, find it, there you go. I'm gonna switch displacement to horizontal. And then I'm gonna play around with the amount and size to see how much of the effect I wanna have. And then I will automate that. I think size should be something around, five is too much. This is the size of the waves, let's call them. I think two, three should be okay. Yeah. And, and the amount. So now we can finally automate this. I'm gonna click on the graph editor. And I'm gonna click on the stopwatch of the amount, amount at zero. So that's the beginning of the timeline. I want no effect at all. Uh, I will move. So I'm gonna move this right about there. So I'm searching for the position where I want the effect to start and it's right about there. I click on this to add a keyframe then one frame after I'm gonna increase the little bit of value of the amount and as you can see the effect kicks in now for 50 yeah that's that's a good amount right probably gonna go forward a couple of frames and then add another value I'm gonna go forward a couple of frames and then I'm gonna zero back the effect and then I'm gonna just keyframes that's fine I'm going to select the keyframes and I'm gonna smooth them out with right click and uh, easy ease that's it I'm gonna close this one and I'm gonna exit from the graph edit right now that we have this in place what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat the same thing a few frames forward so I'm gonna move, so I'm gonna move the playhead forward and again, click, set the keyframe, zero, click, set another keyframe for 50, and then a second, and that will be, the, the, the third keyframe would be the duration of the effect for 50 again, and then a fourth keyframe to zero. And then I'm gonna select the keyframe, easy, easy ease, and there you have it. That's the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click on the subscribe button so you won't miss any future video. Thanks for following and see you the next time.